now. Hi, I'm Craig. I'm Autumn. And we're here to speak to you about a very important health issue, having a proper bowel movement and how to achieve that. You see, Autumn is sitting here on the throne like most people do, but when you sit in the position and your thighs are at a 90 degree angle to your torso, you actually kink the last part of your intestines, the anal canal, and it makes it harder for the feces to pass through. But when you squat, like most people do on the planet today, India and China, and you get a 35 degree or less angle between your torso and your thighs, it actually straightens out that anal canal, lets the feces pass through much easier, giving you a much more complete bowel movement. Now, of course, most of us out here in the United States and other uh, developed countries might have a little trouble getting in the position that Autumn's in. But there are some solutions that everyone can do. This, for instance, is a little step stool. And some kind of box or just anything that will raise your feet up is a good start. Now she has more of a 35 degree angle over here and her you know, canal is going to open up and things going to come through quite easily. But you know there's something even better. It was designed exactly for this purpose. And they call it a squatty potty. Squatty potties are really cool. They're wide enough so you can get your feet wider apart and also when you're done with them you can push them under the toilet so they don't get in the way if someone comes up and wants to stand in front of it. Squatty potties are awesome and I really really love these things. You know if you don't do something like this to get that 35 degree angle you're more prone to getting diseases. Um, lots of people end up with constipation and constipation can lead to hemorrhoids and other health issues. You know, and I've actually read some studies that have shown that um, countries that predominantly tend to use squat toilets tend to have lower incidences of colon cancer. And one of the theories behind that is because when you're squatting, you're actually putting less stress on those systems. And I've seen those studies as well. You can look those statistics up on the internet. It's um, widely available information. So I hope you learned something today, and happy pooping. <laughs>